This is the final test for Kim's machine. It is off. We'll turn it on. And we have a little simple. Machine is zeroing. All right. Go to our graving page. Search for machine. Shut that off. Go down here. Change it to anodized aluminum. There. Auto Z. Machine ready to receive. Machine's got it. Go. Beautiful. This is a demonstration of how to import a logo from Corel Draw into Graver Style Quick Click. We have our image here and it's not usable at this moment because there are small lines and skinny lines and we need to do a trace. We're going to select our trace bitmap, outline trace, and then line art. We're going to select center line and we now have a center line of the image. Hit OK. Now we have an image that we can use. We're going to File, and we're going to export the image as a DXF file, and we're going to call this Cook. We're going to Export, and we're going to replace it, yes. And we're going to do Unfill, and we're just going to do it as inches in AutoCAD 2007. And we're going to hit OK. We're next going to come to our Graver style. We're going to right click in our ABC page and we have our import function. From here we're going to select a DXF file which we just outputted. We're going to find the import called Cook, Open, Import. From there it will be in our library called Logo Cook. And we will hit the little hourglass, and there's our image. We'll click there, hit the X, there's our image. From this image, we'll now take it and we will engrave. And I'm just going to make some user settings. This is the retraction height of the head. I mean, there's no need to go up any higher than this, 0.08. And we're going to tell the machine we want a little bit of downforce on the engraving head, so we're going to change this to 50 thousandths. That will put downward pressure on the needle. We'll hit OK. We're going to be diamond drag engraving, working from the center of the vise, and we're going to send the program to the machine. Now this is a large machine, and you must wait for the second beep. It has to download the whole program. There's a second beep. We'll hit our go button. And this is the Graver Graph IM4 engraving machine. And there we go.
What is engraving is anodized aluminum from Chewbacca's tags. And this is one of our luggage tags. And that luggage tag is four inches left to right and two inches up and down. And we'll take a look at the engraving, what, we're going to, what we are engraving. Chicken is definitely going to be soup tonight. And we're still engraving. It is a large logo. I did make it rather big. It's almost inch and three quarters. But all the detail is there. It's working on the chef's body right now. This import function will also work with the new Graver Style 6 software as well on the M20 machines, the IS400 machines, any of the Graver Graph machines. It's very simple to import as you can see. I think we're done. That's a good picture of it there. And there's your demonstration of how to import line art into QuickClick.